I've always tried to make it clear to everyone just how really split and divided the Conservative Party is. Because if you look at it from the outside, it looks normal. They all look, you know, nice, tidy, all you know, lined up and formed up, you know, ready to go. We're all on the same page. We're all singing from the same hymn sheet. But look at, you know, look at Labour. Aren't they all divided, arguing amongst themselves, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But <laughs> you only, only just have to scratch the surface or... The, or as we even saw under Boris Johnson, make a, a a wrong announcement or say something a bit a bit of a policy announcement that ruffles a few the few feathers the wrong way, and that unity very very quickly becomes frayed, and already we are seeing the um the tensions that we saw building up between you know Truss and the Sunak factions during the last, you know, Tory leadership contest, come back with a vengeance. And it's only been four days. I, I, I want to remember, remind you all, right, Illis Trust officially, at the time of doing this video, has had sort of five days in office, I think, roughly. And already, a lot of those Conservative MPs are already like, hmm... We're we're a bit worried, <laughs> and you can tell by the way that some have reacted to this budget coming out and calling it toxic. That, as as I've already said, a lot of the stuff that has been announced in the past couple of days is not going to go down very well in the red wall. So those red wall Tories aren't going to be very happy with what's been announced, and more importantly, it is not going to wash well up in the north. Because all these opposite, all, all really the Labour Party and sort of people have to do start up here is going, hmm, isn't isn't trust just a bit like Thatcher? That's that's all we have to start doing. <laughs> and trust me, ooh, ooh boy, um, yeah, I, I vain for a defeat up here. Um, yeah, <laughs> none of these uh, policies are going to go sell well up here. But before we go into looking at what a few Tory MPs and these backbench MPs had to say. Uh, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off station link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do help and support the channel that way. So, what did they have to say? Well, the consensus is that it has completely brought back the dividing lines that were there during the leadership contest. Those of who were supporting Truss, those who were supporting Sunak... And there are a lot of, of conservative MPs who are very, very nervous, as we've said about the Red Wall, about how this is going to go down, shall we say, in their backyard. So one um, Tory MP had this to say, I have never known a government that has had so little support from its own backbenchers in just four days of sitting. <laughs> that said it all. I completely despair because I'm a member of a party that stands up for the squeezed middle, not the very rich. This will be politically toxic and economically dubious. So already there are severe lines of discontent in the conservative backbenchers. Very, very much so on this. And we've got another one who said this about um, another. This was a Sunak supporter who was very, very worried about this. He said, everyone is distraught at this reshuffle and the way that it's being handled. Said one person, the recently ousted government, look ahead. You've got to have a situation where unless some goodwill is extended, people will look for a cause to lay a market down to make it clear their unhappiness. So we've already talked about, if you may remember before during the Tory leadership contest, the the wrath of the disappointed. And I think that is being very, very clear made out here. And then you had Roger Gale, who was um very, very much a, a thorn in Boris Johnson's side, came out and said this. 
Fortune favors the brave, but not the foolhardy. And added that Kutang's not so mini budget is certainly brave, but it also looks very highly risky indeed. And that does not go down well with a Conservative Party who has always been traditionally, especially economically, very, very risk averse. But um, that is the situation. That has been sort of the response so far. At least Conservatives have been, uh, Conservative MPs have been willing to go uh, on the record or had talks with journalists. And already, I think you are going in to a conservative conference where I think, shall we say, inside the conference, it's all going to be la di la di la. Aren't we all happy getting along? But meanwhile, meanwhile, on the fringes and the fringe events, I think you are going to see a lot of discontent. I think you're going to see a lot of people about, well, what do we do? How do we react? Um, and I wouldn't be surprised. If or at least someone in the Conservative Party has got to realize they've got to take back their party from this right wing libertarian group that has come in and now taken control of their party. Because conservatives have been very, very reluctant for years to call out these different factions that have existed inside their party. But this is where it has led them. This small faction of ERG right-wing libertarian free market fundamentalists now control 88% of all government positions and are basically almost in charge of the government. This is their plan. This is what they've wanted for years. They've always been at the fringes of the economic thought, but slowly but surely, through some very deceptive means, they have managed to worm their way into the seats of power. And it, I think it is up to conservatives to actually start to realize what has happened and really start to think, well, we need to maybe think about taking back our party and fighting back against these groups that have that have you know come in and, and, and claimed our party. Will it happen? I, I, I very much doubt it, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what um the conference indeed brings uh, the certainly Tory one, but it will be. I think it will certainly be one to watch. Um, what happens, and more in particular, what happens around the fringes of the conference, not what actually happens at the main conference itself. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and of course, we'll see you all next time.